Hey guys, I was down in the basement yesterday and I was going through a bunch of stuff to uh, take over to Goodwill. Ran across my little plasma ball here and uh, did some looking around on YouTube. Found some very interesting experiments that you could do with, uh, with a plasma ball. So I thought I'd just go ahead and make one of my own just because, um, you know, because it's cool and because I make videos, you know. So anyway, if you haven't seen any of the other uh, plasma videos yet, you can... Uh, do some cool things with one of these. Take uh, one of these little um, uh, fluorescent bulbs, put it over there near it, and of course it glows. Now the interesting thing is if you put your finger on the end of it, it glows even more. Isn't that cool? Totally wicked, dude. Alright, so then I've got, uh, I got a bigger one here. Whoa, dude, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's glowing. It's glowing. All right, then I got a little bitty one here. Here's a little bitty one. Spooky. Spooky. Spooky, spooky. All right, so then I went down into my, um, down by my workbench, the many of you have seen through my other videos. And I got my, I stole one of the fluorescent lights out of it. Big fluorescent light bulb. Place that on there. There you go. Get some glow, baby. If I touch the end down here. Hello. I am the secret light bulb. I am communicating from the beyond. Ha, 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 ha. So, of course, if you touch the end, you get... You get a little bit more light down this end. So then I had this um, this little hip hop toy. It was it's a little keychain. Got it at a dollar store down in Branson. Thought it was pretty cool. Uh, the reason I thought it was cool because it looks like a little tiny record player. And uh, I put this near it just to see what it would do, and it just killed it. It just died. So I won't do anything now. So you don't get to see what happens with that. But, um, yeah, it's kind of a cool toy. And you, you could, like, flick this and it would change the change the music. I don't know. It might have just fried the batteries. You can see those two little button batteries in there. I might just get me some more button batteries and see if it comes back to life. But, anyway, so much for that. All right, but then I got this other little thing out. This is called a hit clip. And it plays music. I'll show you. So it's got a little, um, it's got a little thing on the top here, and you uh, you pop the lid open. If I can remember where the pop is, here it is. So you pop the lid open, and it's got this little keychain inside with uh, a little song on it. Highly, highly compressed, I'm sure. All right, but then I thought, what would what would happen if I put it up near the uh, the plasma ball? All right, so let's watch and see what happens. You ready? Wow, wasn't that cool, kids? That was just really exciting. So apparently it, uh, I don't know, since this operates on some kind of radio frequency, I'm sure, internally, it uh, it affects the uh, playback. All right, so there's the hit clip thing. So then uh, I found this uh, greeting card, and uh, this is a greeting card that has one of those, um, um, you know, plays music when you open it. All right, and it's just kind of dead right now. I'll be quiet for a second. You can hear it. 
All right, so it's not really doing anything. In fact, it wasn't doing anything at all until I put it in contact with the plasma ball. Pretty interesting, huh? So it uh, it makes it do something that it wouldn't do before. I guess you could use it as a uh, metronome for uh, playing some music or something. You know, like you're a pianist. Well then I decided, I had read online that the, that the plasma ball affects uh, touch screens. All right, so what happens if you put a, uh, an iPhone near it? What does it do? So yeah, it uh, affects it. It like opens up apps and does weird things. It's trying to open up Text Plus. It seems to like the Text Plus. What if I turn it upside down? Probably opened up messaging, right? Let's watch it and see. Nope, just making apps move on the screen. doing weird things. I don't want to ruin this uh, iPhone, so I'm not going to put it like right up against it or anything, but you can see it uh, It definitely interferes with uh, the touchscreen on it. In fact, it just went to p.com all by itself, right there on the screen. It went to p.com and my focus isn't working, of course, because Apple hasn't fixed that yet. Filming this with an iPhone 5S so anyway, if you don't have a plasma ball, you really should get one because they're just hours of fun and entertainment and you know you can make light bulbs light up and you can uh, make your hit clips thing kind of do weird things. Make your greeting cards do weird stuff. All right, anyway. <laughs> Doesn't hurt at all. Okay. See you later. Bye.